Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how I make my escort cards. This is one of the very few things I have left to do for my wedding planning, so I figured I'd try to get this video in for you guys. I've gained like 500 subscribers in the last week because of my one TikTok video that went viral, and so I appreciate all the love and support. My most recent video has all the links to pretty much everything, but I will link everything that I use in this video down below as well. So I had a lot of questions on what an escort card is. Essentially an escort card just tells you where you need to sit or what table you're at. A lot of times when you walk into a wedding it'll be right when you walk in and there'll be like a lot of like little tent escort cards. I'm using acrylic, obviously that's my theme if you've seen any of my other videos or any of my content. You know that I'm going more um, acrylic. Very little paper has been used for my wedding decor. Anyways, we weren't originally planning on having escort cards. We have a seating chart that our guests will just look. It's on a stand, but unfortunately our venue was like, in order for us to know what everybody ordered for food, we need to have that indicated somewhere. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I take the acrylic escort card and I will be painting the back different colors and each color will indicate what meal choice they chose when they sent in their RSVP. For beef, we're gonna have blue. For chicken, we're gonna have pink. and then and for veggie, we'll have gray, which all of which are in our wedding colors. And I guess we'll probably just think these are some cute decoration that has their name on it and is specific to them. But in reality, it's actually to show the wait staff. Without further ado, I'm going to teach you guys how to do these. Starting off in Word document, here I'm showing that I'm using Sego UI, I think that's how you pronounce it, in 34 size font. Everything is capitalized. Then I show you how to go into fonts and then do different spacings. I did the five point spacing, which allows me to have enough room to write everything. Of course, you can do different fonts. Here I'm showing you the main cursive font that I usually use, which is, I think how you say Aisha Demo. It is from 1001fonts.com and it is free download. These are the acrylic hexagons. I ordered them from Amazon. They are linked down below. This is what we'll be using as the base for our escort cards. So essentially, all this is is a piece of acrylic and there's a brown paper on it. And we just take that brown paper off. I use something sharp. Save that for later because you can use it to test your pins on. And that is your acrylic sheet. You have to be careful because they're kind of staticky so things stick to them and they get scratched up really easy. I'm using this Sharpie oil-based pen and the extra fine tip. You can use any tip thickness as you want for whatever design you're creating. The trick is though to use an oil-based pen. This one from Sharpie has been recommended by a lot of people. The beauty of using acrylic for everything is that it is see-through so you can trace anything you want. For most of my wedding stuff I use a lot of Cricut and cutting things out on there but this was just too time consuming and too many little letters that I just didn't feel like it would be the best use of my time. So first step is to line it up. Usually you can use the the tops of your paper to help figure out where the front is and then I like to center it in the middle. Obviously you can do whatever you want. So here is what I do. And it really just depends on the angle in which you're looking at it too of like how it will look. My goal though is to always keep all of the vertical lines as straight as possible. That'll help it make it look even more clean. Just like that. So I put this notebook down for you to see it better, um, but the beauty of this is because it is oil, you can rub at it and it's not gonna go anywhere. But say you messed up, you can always use nail polish remover to remove it. I personally did not use this cursive font for my own escort cards, but I just wanted to use it as an example to show you that you can have a totally different looks for depending on what font you use. Now, if you need your escort card to indicate each person's table, this is another option. You could do a curly font and then go underneath it with another font, just like that. There's another option. I got this font for free when I downloaded it, but I don't know why I can't find it anywhere for free now to download. So I have a link below, but unfortunately it costs a few dollars to purchase. Here I'm just showing you how I have organized it as we've gotten RSVPs in. I would separate them whether they were chicken or beef. These are the three colors that I used and they're just regular acrylic paint. Starting off with the pink paint, I actually try to do thin strokes on the side and then go in with a thicker layer in the middle so that the sides of them look like paint strokes, but the middle part is more opaque and has more color to it. Here's just a different angle of me showing you that I do the edges first and then go in with more paint in the middle for the first layer. Then drying with the fan between coats and I do two coats of paint. And I'm just going in with the blue color and doing the exact same thing. It's pretty repetitive. Hello, it is a new day. I am makeupless. My hair is wet because I'm fresh out the shower. This is kind of how wedding DIYs have been for me is I just do it when I can. So this morning I've been working on the blue tiles. I would do a coat, clean the house, do another coat, take a shower, and so here I am trying to get things done in between all of my other things in life. So that's kind of how it is with wedding DIYs. I have most of the pink cards done. Um, of course, I've got a few 
last minute RSVPs. So for anybody who is ever invited to a wedding, this is why you don't wait last minute to do RSVPs because bride, people involved might be doing stuff and waiting on you to be able to finish their projects. Don't be that person. Send in your RSVPs if you're invited to weddings as soon as you can, even if it is a decline. So yes, that's my tip for the day. So these are the blue tiles. They are drying. This is the first half of them. The second half are under here. The pink tiles are over here. Here's the majority of them. Here are the people who turn in their RSVPs on time. <coughs> cough, cough, passive aggressive. We have very few gray ones, which are our veggie vegetarian um, meal option so yeah i really like how they turned out they're really pretty when you lay the tiles flat they look opaque and like there's no streakiness to them but when you put them in the light you can see that you can see the different brush strokes so that is just something to be aware of all of them could have probably used another coat or two but um it's already three coats per one so if you can imagine making 100 of these like how much work that is i've probably put in maybe four hours already onto them, which you're like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But I mean, it does take a while to write out the name, well, print off the names, write out the names, then we'll organize them, and then go into painting them, which is a process in itself, especially since I'm doing two coats of paint and then one of the Mod Podge that covers the top of it. So we're gonna keep on doing this. The next step is just putting on Mod Podge. This is me showing the two different clips of doing the blue and the pink. Just a regular layer of Mod Podge will do the trick and it doesn't have to be perfect because it dries clear. So I'm gonna talk to you guys while I work, but the reason behind using the Mod Podge, the final layer, is because I noticed with the paint that if you touched it or scratched it, which these are very sharp edges, um, which would be easy to do in the process of moving things, um, that um, the paint will chip off and that won't look as good. So um, I decided to just go ahead and do an extra layer of Mod Podge on and it dries clear so it's not a big deal if it, you know, it's a really easy two second paint job so it's not like it's really hard to do. Other layer, especially the first layer, is very like specifically, you gotta be kind of focused on it whereas this you can just kind of slap some Mod Podge on and then go to the next one which like literally I'm speeding through these really quick. So this is our bridesmaid's dress. Let's just talk about how perfect this color is that I picked, this paint color. I'm pretty sure I took a sample with me to pick it out, which I recommend doing, but I think I just eyeballed it because I'm <laughs> super familiar with our colors. So that is how I made my escort cards for my wedding. I hope you guys liked this video. Please comment down below what you want to see next for all of the DIYs that I can make and tutorials, and please subscribe and find all of my links down below, including everything I used for this video. See you guys in my next video.